Are you ready for war? I know I am. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, we are about to witness the war between the factions. Rick versus the governor. Right? That's what we're waiting on. I don't know what which side Andrea is going to be on. Hopefully she comes over to Rick's side, man. Uh, missing Andrea on the good side. You know what I'm saying? The governor, he's just so power hungry. You know, as even if he does, like, he was just chatting up Rick to hear what Rick had to say. Because he is planning to kill all of them regardless. But now they got help from those people that left the prison that, you know, left because Rick acted out or whatever the situation is i don't think rick knows that they're over there but they're probably going to meet up somewhere in the field and having to kill them or whatever the situation is so i'm looking forward to this i'm ready to go now i'm not gonna waste no more of your time okay so let's jump into this and i will see you guys for the review it's probably gonna be just one episode today guys and then i'll probably drop the next two probably in another couple of days or so so to finish up the season so this one is only going to be one episode for this reaction okay so look forward to it if the episode is fire i might jump to the next one but i don't i don't think it's going to be that fire because um the other there's other reactions that i want to get out between today and tomorrow so i'm just doing this because i haven't done the walking dead in probably like a week and a half so i have to get this done so let's do this Okay, season three, episode fourteen is done. We got two more episodes to go. Uh, there was no need for me to watch another episode. I said if the episode was fire enough, exciting enough, cliffhanger enough, I would do another one. But fortunately, that wasn't the case. It was a nice closed episode, if you will. So the governor needs to go. He needs to go. I know he's the villain, quote unquote, villain of this season i don't know who's gonna get to kill him or i you know and as i said uh, 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 um a character like the governor is not going to die off screen so i didn't believe he died off screen there when andrea left all those biters with him or walkers whatever you want to call it because everybody calls him something else right so um so, yeah, man, my thing is, Andrea, instead of holding her hand up, run out there. You're running. I mean, in her mind, you know what I'm saying? She thought she got rid of the governor, so she had all the time in the world to walk over there. But at the same time, ah, man, I guess that's the perfect excuse to say why she did what she did. But at the same time, I, I still don't like it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I still don't like it. I hate the fact that she's going to have to be in that torture chair now, just waiting, you know, him lying to everybody, say, say he didn't find her and whatever. And I said, I know, I know he brought her back in the truck, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think he would have killed her right outside the prison. That wouldn't be practical. You know what I mean? Like, so she being captured, Milton, I think Milton is the one that went out there. It's either Milton or Mar or Martinez, which I'm um, probably not Martinez, because Martinez is like a yes man, like he can't think of his own. Like he used to be in the army, but at the same time, it's just like, bro, why did you just listen to this guy blindly? You know, I have no thoughts of your own. Like you know what I'm saying? Like this is not the army. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so he, he goes in there, and they take out the biters, but. I don't know. I don't know if it's Milton. You know what I'm saying? Like, is he lying through his teeth again? Um, that time he was looking him straight in the eye and not batting. You know what I'm saying? Like, people have certain tells when they lie. So with him, he he looks away when he lies. You know what I'm saying? Like, he looks away. And I saw when he looked away that first time when he was telling him. I didn't tell Andrea anything. <laughs> you know, but it was clear, obvious that he lied. So, so yeah, man. I don't know if it's Milton. I really don't know because Milton is not the type to, if he left in a van to go out there, I think they would know. I think they would know that he left with a van unless he knows some way to get a, get out there with a van with nobody knowing. I think somebody must have known that Milton left because 
you know how tight knit that whole group is in the security and everything. So it's crazy. So I'm still leaning forward to think that it's Milton more than Martinez, but it could be Martinez. That's what I'm saying. It could be him because he's had change of heart in the past, but he's less likely to do it. So at least we got to see Rick, you know. Um, so the, the main storyline was just Andrea getting out and also the um, the black, you know, the black guys and the, and the black guy and the girl and also them other two that's with them. You know, the story was centered more around them than anything. Um, so, of course, you know what I mean? Like the man, that governor can lie good, man. He can lie his ass off. That man don't play. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he was lying to the to the black guy a lot. I mean, that explanation, I was like, wow. And they can't even see through his bullshit right now. But anyways, that's it for my review, man. I, I like this episode. I like the setup that they're setting up for the final two episodes of the season um, up to this point. Because now we don't know. is uh, Are they going to rescue Andrea? He's, you know what I'm saying? Like, they now they don't have a warning. So... They're not going to get it from anybody unless Milton decided decides to run away and get over there before they, before all of this starts. If he has a, if he finds out that Andrea is in that room. So maybe that's the only thing that would save her at this point. But as I said during the episode, I feel like she, I just feel like something is going to happen. I feel like she's going to die and it's going to be really sad. You know what I'm saying? Because as you guys know, Andrea is not my favorite favorite she's not even my top five favorite characters in in the walking dead because i think she's always stirred trouble but she's had this kind of during this season she's had this kind of redemptive arc in this season where you kind of feel what she's going through even though in the first half of the season i didn't really agree with a lot of things she was doing because she was still trying to keep michonne there and she's just not seeing what is happening but once all was revealed you kind of see that she realized yo this man is a freaking psychopath you know so i'm not with that i want to go back to my old group so that's cool man so thank you guys for watching as always um you know gratitude is never enough you're never gonna hear too much of it on this channel i'll say thanks till the cows come home which they never do <laughs> anyway so like subscribe if you're new and also leave a comment in the comment section man um my walking dead videos don't get a lot of views but i'm still out here just doing it i'm doing it for the few that watches you loyalists out there man thank you guys so much and i will see you guys for the next one terabyte out peace